Holy, holy, holy. Holy, holy, holy. Holy, holy, holy. Holy, holy, holy. It's the Lord God Almighty. Your righteous acts have been revealed. Nations will come and worship you. Uh. You will be adored forever. Cherubim and seraphim fly around the throne. Singing glory to the Lamb. Glory oh. to the Lamb. Oh. Glory to the Lamb. Glory to the Lamb.
we advance worshiping God is an act of warfare it acts as an, as an offense an offensive against the enemy upon this rock I will build my church and the gates of hell the defenses of hell will not prevail against the progress and the advancing of the church on the rock of the revelation of Jesus as you declare who he is things have to shift in the atmosphere ahead of you
allow worship to be coupled with your prayer as you petition God for what you need acknowledge him for who he is let worship go before you place lift those hands as I say Lord to you got his attention he's listening to you Lord to come on everybody everybody raise it up in this place come on lift it up lift it up lift it up say Stop worshiping, don't stop worshiping. Say, Glory. He's listening to your voice, he's listening to your worship. Glory to Glory to the Lamb. If you got it, say. The glory of God in this place has shifted something in your life. I don't want you to expect it to be as it was. God's presence, God's glory, there's something that only the anointing of God can break. You don't break it with knowledge. You don't break it with scripture. There's something that only the presence of God has the power to heal. 
to restore and to set back in order. Some of you have been in a place of brokenness. And you've been feeling this buildup, this buildup, this buildup, this pressure, this pressure, this pressure. There's always a buildup before there's a breakthrough. God brought you here today to experience the glory of God. Glory brings a light and it has a power to cause you to forget about everything that's been stressing you, everything that's been hurting you. The Bible says that the presence of the Lord was there to heal them. You can be healing your emotions, you can be healing your body, healing your mind, healing your memories. And He just wants to just set you free from things. Some of you got so tangled up and tied up with hang-ups and hurts and habits that you didn't know what to do with but God by his own glory you got tangled up in stuff that you didn't know how to get out of but somehow in the fire of his glory you might have come in bound but now you're free celebrate it thank God for what he's doing by his spirit God's presence speaks. And I pray that you just celebrate the presence of the Lord. Let the presence of God do in your life what is necessary. He is the great I am. He said, whatever you need, that I am. I am that I am. I am that I am. If you came to hear a word from God, there's nothing that speaks more powerfully than God's presence. And there is nothing that speaks more clearly than a person's absence. So when God is present, he's saying, I'm in the room, I'm in the midst, I'm aware of everything that you're dealing with. I know of your hurts. The old folks would say, through many dangers, toils and snares. I have already come and I know you've been through some stuff I had to come through an accident to get here and I had to get off the expressway because I could see beyond the accident and I heard the word of the Lord at that moment in my t- call this morning I heard him say these words don't let somebody else accident become your tragedy And if you can see beyond the accident, you can have faith to move beyond the place of injury. You can move beyond the place where the breach happened, the place where you got hurt, the place where you got derailed, the place where somebody tried to mess your life up forever. That if you just get off, God will show you the right on-ramp. But don't let an accident of somebody else's stop your life. Because somebody that you were with had an accident. God still has a destiny for you. He has not canceled the plan because something happened to your ride partner. God says, I'm with you now, even to the ends of the earth. And when we endeavor to praise him, to say, God, I relish in your presence. And I acknowledge, God, that there is none other but you. And whatever you need, The presence of God speaks. When God's presence shows up in a manifest way, I dare not try to speak his word when he's there to speak for himself. I'm not here to do my own bidding. I'm not here to show off a word that I have. I'm here to honor the king himself. King sends out emissaries. He sends out ambassadors in his stead. But when the king shows up, he speaks. His presence speaks. And it is in this atmosphere that you let God arise and his enemies be scattered. Let God arise and his enemies be scattered. Let God arise that whatever has been trying to come against you, Every 
weapon that has been formed. Let God arise and his enemies be scattered. His enemies be scattered. His enemies be scattered. That the very presence of God breaks everything in us that needs to be broken. Sometimes you might think that you've been keepers of the law in your own righteousness. But when God, you get in God's presence, you realize that your righteousness is as filthy rags. Becomes a stench in his nostrils. When we see his glory, it causes us to see ourselves and then we say, woe is me. Woe is me. I saw the Lord high and lifted up. And his train filled the temple. And many of you may not know, but when a king would go to war and they would win a war they would add extra length on his train. And so a long train on a king is an indication that he's been mighty victorious in battle. And I just want you to know that we serve a king who has a long train. He's got a trail of victory, testimonies of how he's healed and how he's delivered and how he's set free and how he's overcome every demonic attack. And the train, his train, I'm just here to tell you today that there's a train behind the king of glory. Check that in the voice He is not a man that he should lie. His train fills the temple. His glory, his glory, his glory. It is a testimony of the victories of the Lord. Victory after victory after victory after victory after victory. And the victory of the Lord brings us out of our victimhood. You're no longer a victim when you get hooked up with the King of Glory. Lift up your heads, O your gates, and be ye lifted up, you everlasting doors, and the King of Glory shall come in. Yes, he will. He's a King of Glory. All of the glory belongs to him. All of the honor, all of the might, it belongs to Jesus the Christ. We exalt him. We, are, uh, we adore him. We extol him, king above all kings. There is none like unto you, O Lord. Your beauty and all are beautiful in all of your ways. Your glory fills this place. And Father, we thank you for the glory of your presence. We honor you for what you do in our midst today. Thank you for unyoking us from everything that has burdened us. Thank you for breaking things out of our life that has caused insomnia, sleeplessness in us, stress, worry, anxious thoughts. Thank you, Lord, for moving right now in the name of Jesus and causing panic attacks to desist and stop in the name of Jesus unreasonable fear we don't even understand it but in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus God's presence breaks it it breaks it it breaks it it breaks it it breaks it he's calling out of the darkness into the marvelous light of the glory of God and in that glory there is a rest there is a peace there is a celebration of his glory and we give him the honor he alone is God Lord there's none like you there's no God as big as you are you're great glorious marvelous in all of your ways you have no equal there is none to compare with you you're done class all by yourself we honor you. We acknowledge you. Our souls extol you as the God of all the ages. Oh, ancient of days, God, we lift our hearts in worship toward you. And in this atmosphere, God will undo, outdo, and overdo everything the devil has done. Demons have to flee. Depression has to roll back off of your life. Fear has to abate. The glory of the Lord shall be revealed and all flesh shall see it together for the mouth of the Lord has spoken it.
God, we give you glory today. We give you honor, majesty, and dominion. It is yours. And we are yours. We belong to you. Father, may you finish everything that you have begun in us. Thank you for the sweetness of your presence. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for interrupting us from the usual. Thank you for shifting us out of mediocrity, out of boredom, out of sickness, out of sin. Thank you. Thank you for shifting us into a new dimension of glory. Thank you that because we believe in you, God, that now we go from glory to glory, to a higher level of glory. We thank you. We thank you. Thank you that every round goes higher and higher. We bless you. We bless you. We honor you. We celebrate you. There's none like you. There's none like you. We exalt you. Lord, finish in your people everything that you know that needs to be finished. Give them the power to let go. Let go. Let go. Let go. Let go of the hurt. Let go of the offense. Let go of the anger. Let go of the unforgiveness. They will let go of every memory of every failure. Let go of the abuse. Let go, let go of the bitterness. Let go, Lord, so that you can restore us. Restore us, restore us, restore, restore. By your own spirit. Fill us in every place of emptiness. Every need, God, meet it. Every hurt, heal it. Every void, fill it. Thank you, Lord Jesus. For the conviction power of the Holy Ghost that steers us out of sin, turns our hearts back to the way of righteousness. For without holiness, no man shall see the Lord. Oh God, help us and empower us to become everything that we shall have wished we had become when we stand before you. We pray, Lord Jesus, that all of the glory shall forever be perpetually returned unto you. And may you fill the earth with your glory. Thank you that you commission us as glory producers in the earth. We are formed for your glory, created to give you glory. And I thank you, Lord, for calming every storm that rages within. Thank you. 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 Lord, now let your peace prevail in the lives of your precious people from this day forward. In Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Hallelujah, hallelujah.